Shoot, shoot, shoot. No, no, no! No, I'm the murder doer, exactly! <laughs> oh no! Oh fuck! Oh my god! Jesus Christ! Shit! My slimes. Hello, Willy. Oh, have to meet a nice Willy in the pub. <laughs> you want information on Goro, Disha? Do I? <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> <laughs> it was like a sudden kick. It was like a kick me in the tonsils. Is there something wrong with that hole? <laughs> Die! Die! God damn it! <laughs> There's nothing wrong with this Hulk, Jamie. There's nothing wrong with this Hulk at all. End the night with the overriding taste of me in your mouth. Hello, everybody. And welcome, welcome, welcome back. <coughs> There's three of us. Just three of us. Look closely and you'll see. Um, hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome to uh, me or my lonesome for once. Um, it's been a while, it's been a little while, but yeah, it's just back to me, like it was in the old days. Um, and today, we're back to the wheel. We're doing some more random games, because that worked really well last time. We found some, some absolute um, modern classics. Don't play with myself, I'll go blind. Maybe after this, I don't know what's coming. Maybe one of the games will just be constant blinding lights um and wanking and that will just finish me right off um <laughs> hello fans of the wheel and people called jonas yeah i never really thought about what this would do to jonas what this what this setup would do to jonas maybe it's just reminding him of his old hatreds um so we're back for the wheel um here's the bastard it's been updated for those of you who weren't here for the last time I put a bunch of games randomly selected from my ridiculously huge library of games on on this wheel here, um, on all the segments of the wheels, and then I um, we're going to spin it and play the game that comes up. These are games that um, I specifically rejected any games that came up that I've played extensively. Um, I don't remember if I rejected any games I played ever at all. Um, so there might be, um, actually looking at this, that's not true because I can see a game I've played at least once on here. Um, but yeah, so, so, um, for the most part, I'm going to have very little, um, very little knowledge of any of the games on here. There's some on here that I've never seen in my life before. There's one in particular where the, all of the reviews of it were, it's absolutely trash. <laughs> um, we might have some technical issues and all that jazz. Um, but any of the games that we played last time, they've been taken off the wheel and the space has been filled in. Hello, Emma. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, that's all right. I hope your sunless skies are going well. I hope you're, you're not dead. <laughs> Ooh, waka, 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 waka. Oh, 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 <laughs> uh, might have some technical issues. Well, okay. So this is the thing. Um, I've not even booted any of the games. I uh, I think I have installed them all, um, but I have not even booted them. So um, there may be a bit of faffing, hence why you can you don't see any game at the moment. You just see me because there's going to be a bit of faffing after that. Um, flipping your image so you can read the will. Well, you don't have to. It's fine. This is part of the mystery. It's backwards so that you can't read it. That's definitely what's happening and definitely not... For other <laughs> other purposes, the reason the image is backwards, if you want to know, is because um, I want it so that when I'm when I look at chat, I look like I'm looking into the screen rather than out. But it does mean that any text is backwards. Um, that doesn't matter. I can read it to you. Are we ready for our first spin, everybody? Laura's excited. The audience is is going wild silently in the distance. All right, here we go. What will it be? <laughs> okay, do you creep? We are playing Yes, Your Grace, which is a game that I got in a Humble Bundle recently. And I was like, 
oh, I would I would actually genuinely like to play that. And then um, when I was randomly selecting games for this, it came up. So we've been playing Yes, Your Grace. So I'm going to try and boot it in the background of what's going on now. We'll see what happens. Um, and then um, if I can if I can get it all working up on screen, then we will um, we will have the or I will bring it up on stream. And then I'll have to update all of the game and everything on on Twitch. How is everybody doing? How are you all doing? Normally I ask that of everyone in who I'm on Discord with, but it's just me alone this time. Not that I'm settling for you guys, but but it'd be nice to know what's going on with with you. Um, that seems to be working. It's got some nice music and some nice art. Um, I, I, I don't need to describe it to you. I can show you. Um, of course, it's a modern game, so its resolution is much, much higher than Sims Medieval. There we go. That should be working. Right. Can you see this? There you go. Yes, your grace. There's some music playing in a foreign language. I'm going to turn that down a little bit. Um, I've never noticed your knobbly knees, Laura. I've rarely nobbled your knees. Um, you may... Uh, I'm doing good. Made a big dinner from scratch for the first time in a while. Rolled out the rice cooker. We had, um, we had... We went to a party relatively recently and someone was trying to convince us to buy one of those, like, seven-in-one ninja cooker things that would have a rice cooker in it. And we considered it a lot, but um, cooler heads prevailed. In particular, Laura said, where are we actually going to put this thing? And, uh, and, and I was saying, well, it's fine, it'll get rid of things. Like, we'll remove seven things and replace them with this one thing. And Laura pointed out that we don't actually own the seven things it does. So we wouldn't be removing anything. We'd just be adding this thing in. <laughs> um, uh, Steltech, I made my home legal. Added a smoke detector to the only room that didn't have but legally requires one. I mean, a fire in the house with no fire, a fire alarm would be quite exciting. <laughs> so... Your pressure cooker died recently, Rip. Pull one out for Xenomorph's pressure cooker. Oh, I should update the thing. We are actually playing a game now. So, I've left the rain sounds on very loud. Yes, Your Grace. Um, so I can just hear this very loud rain in the background. I'm turn that down a bit. There we go. A little bit more music. Okay, so this is Yes, Your Grace. I don't know anything about this game. Um, can you guys see it all fine? Can you hear it all fine? Is everything all fine for you guys? Um, uh, yeah, Laura's, Laura's been feeling a bit off, but she should hopefully be back for Civ tomorrow. Fingers crossed. She's looking like she might be up for that. This is, um, this music goes hard. This is, this is a good track. I like this. Cool. I would have noticed a fire in the house as long as it started anywhere but the bedroom. Because you're never in the bedroom. Or you you wear a blindfold in the bedroom. Because it's so filthy. <laughs> you can't bear to look at it. Um, <laughs> should, we, should we play a game? Um, new game. Yes, Your Grace is a game of tough choices. It will be impossible to the satisfy the needs of every petitioner. Maybe for some, but not for me. Uh, pro cultist simulator and um, uh, long live the queen player um, over here. I'll be able to smash this, pleasing everybody equally. Um, that does that that offers no no um, guarantee of quality because you could it could be equally awful across the board. Sometimes your subjects will have spiteful intentions, and sometimes life will get in the way. If you, simp if you simply have enough resources at the end of the week, that's good enough. I'm going to move this chat over a little bit so I can read it easier. Um, wearing a blindfold to ignore the filthy bedroom. <laughs> okay, big mood, Jesus. <laughs> God, have I called you out right there without even knowing it. Um. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Yes, your grace. So we're going to please everyone. This is presumably us. Click on the petitioner to call them forwards. Audrey. Welcome, Audrey. It is time, Your Grace. 
I'd better put on the crown. Boy. The crown of Davern. It's getting a bit rusty. Pop it on. I'm the king after all. It's only right. You can leave any room by walking to the edge of the screen or by selecting the doors. I have an idea. These swords look quite sharp, but they're a thousand years old. Is there anything else I can click on? Shield our kingdom's yeah. emblem. It was forged by a famous blacksmith from Grevno. Oh, I do love Grevno. Back on the throne. <laughs> Sorry, Audrey. Your grace. Okay, alright. Can I go out the window? I've got a nice open window. All right, let's go. This is our first choice, which side of the screen to leave from. This is a map of your castle. Click on the castle wall to go there. Okie dokie. Your grace. A deserter. Found one of ours hiding in a shed. <laughs> You've contracted tetanus. You die immediately. Shed? Why would you do this, Sobic? There's too All many right. of you. We had no chance of winning. If you let him off, the rest may follow. However, your arm, however our army is sparse as it is, we need every set of hands able to hold a sword, Your Grace. Uh, I don't think it's a good idea to let people desert without, without, um, without punishment. Wait, so so the choice is not just to let him go. Is then is there's no place for cowards under my banner? Is that just go home? You're not you're not good at this, <laughs> or is that you're not good at this? Off with your head. <laughs> that's an important distinction here as to whether whether that's a a, a right and good choice. I'm gonna send him back to war. Off you go, back to war. With courage, we will defeat the enemy, no matter the odds. Let him loose, General. Go and stand for Devern. So thank you, Your Grace. <laughs> if you say anything particularly bloodthirsty, you can do it in the duck voice. I haven't done the duck voice properly in, in a little bit. Well, I'm dead. There we go. I'm back into it. I've got it. <laughs> well, I'm dead. <laughs> Over here, Your Grace. General. Generally what? How bad is it, General? Oh, men are scared. I know. One of the, They're deserting. <laughs> it is the middle of the night, and yet it's so bright as if Sfarog himself walked our lands. The thin walls won't last long, and we lack any solid defence measures. Things are going very well, it sounds like. We haven't even done anything yet, apart from send a poor boy back to war. Oh, did I not send him back to war? I don't know what I chose to do there. We just sent him, we let him go, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. He'll turn up dead later, I'm sure. We don't have enough men. Once they get in, we have nothing we can throw their way. Can you hear their chanting? They're getting ready. You better get started. I've gathered archers from all the other walls. They're awaiting you at the wall, Your Grace. There's still time to put up white flags. Is there anything I can point and click around here? No? Let's go in here. Up we go. Hello, archers. Uh, no. Sons of Devon, my brothers, we stood together through the worst of times, the best of times. We have proved our strength in many battles, and today we will prove it again. My bravest men, I bid you to fight for all you hold dear. For Devon! <laughs> Smashing. Yes, Your Grace. Oh. Okay, I was about to ask, do we get a flashback? Because otherwise... That's, that's a very short game. Three, two, one. Okay, here I come. These two didn't hide at all. 
They didn't hide at all. <laughs> you found me. Well done, father. Come on now, Lucilia. It's not often that we can do this. I told you I don't want to play. Aren't you too old for this? No one is too old for hide and seek. S least not the king. Lucilia, that is no way to speak to your father. Lucilia is a stick in the mud. Found you. Found you. It was all a ruse to get you to come out of hiding. Shut it, Asalia. We can see you from miles away. Okay, you know I'm not playing with you, darling. The sun finally came out. Let me enjoy it. Got you! Shouldn't have insulted your sister from across the gardens. She always has to ruin everything. She's so proud she couldn't even find a place to hide. I wasn't even trying to hide. I don't want to play. Next time you don't want to play, maybe try writing a formal announcement. Oh wait, you can't write. You're thick as shit. Of course I can, you nitwit. Cut it out, both of you. Oh, well, she's gone. Lucilia is such a dumpling. <laughs> dumpling. Okay. Uh, oh. And here's the little one. No! I was doing so well. I mean, you weren't, though. You were just stood in front of a bush. <laughs> I mean, I don't think... I don't think... I guess hiding out of the frame of the camera could be considered maybe somewhat decent hiding. <laughs> you must have cheated. Or peaked. I demand another trial of the game. How official. Ha! Maybe next time, Sidani. Forgive me, your grace. I hate to interrupt, but your subjects will soon arrive. Oh, all right. Enough games. The throne awaits. Maybe they'll play hide and seek with me. The petitioners will start queuing in a moment, your grace. You really need to shorten the visiting hours. This isn't a... A hospital <laughs> or a prison archives. Ah. Oh. Okay. So Losulia is our eldest daughter. Eric oh Asalia is our middle daughter. Sedani is our youngest daughter. And Aurelia is the queen. Lovely. Okay. <clears throat> oh, our, our wife's the first. Can you go and speak to Lucilia, my dear? I've tried talking to her, but she won't respond. I don't know what's gotten into her recently. Maybe she'll open up a bit more to you. She's probably wandering about the wall. Of course, my sweetest. <laughs> All right, we're done for the day. No more petitioners. Off to see my daughter. Uh, tell me about the kingdom. What would you like to know, Your Grace? Um. Peasants, merchants, knights, foreigners, lords even. They all have problems and they will seek the help from their king. We can use our resources or agents to help those in need. Beware though, you might come. some might come with malicious intentions, so you should carefully consider who is truly in need, your grace. Uh, uh, okay, that's fine. Let's just bring in... Let's bring in... So we've got a dungeon guard and two peasants. Dungeon guard! <coughs> I didn't see that no, Koto. I don't know what's going on. Your Grace, I bring bad news. The recent rains have soaked through our roofs. The pantry roof has collapsed, as well as some of the walls of our dungeon. Only one cell is currently functional. We should really fix those things before they get worse, otherwise we'll keep losing supplies. You will see the required fixes in your weekly summary at the end of the week. Okay. I... I... Oh, fine. See ya. Bye. <laughs> she did, didn't even wait for me to talk. Bye. God, what, kind of, what kind of kingdom is this? No one gives me no respect. When you meet people and talk to petitioners, your advisor makes a note about the encounter in your archives. You can click through all the archives from the button below. Flood damages. Okay. Next up... Your Grace, my daughter's wedding is at hand. Congrats! The problem is, we don't make enough gold or supplies to make a worthy feast. 
What will my daughter's in-laws think of our family? We want to hire a band, buy some of that fancy wine on the market. We would only need five gold and five supplies. What? <laughs> we want to have a wedding, and we want to impress our the the bride's family, but we don't ha have the money, so we've come to the fucking head of state to ask for cash and grain. No! No! <laughs> Piss. You don't... It says you have my blessing. You don't even have my blessing. <laughs> this is nonsense. If you want to impress them, you should be impressing them yourself. Do... Learn to juggle? Or, like, um... Uh, paint yourself like Spider-Man? <laughs> Any of these things. But you're not having my money. Oh, wow. Piss off. The kingdom has more important matters oh, at hand. Are. Wish your daughter the best from me. <laughs> That's not what I said at all. Um... <laughs> You skimp us a little gold. Shouldn't the king support people in the hard times? This is a wedding. It's not a requirement. <laughs> this won't keep you alive. I can't feed my guests with the king's blessing. It's true. They did. But I, I did a great Spider-Man costume. It was excellent. And they were very impressed. That's why they allowed me to date her. <laughs> Otherwise, they were going to lock her away in a tower where she would sleep for a thousand years. <laughs> They're a weird group. <laughs> Your Grace, I come here representing my village. We want to ask you for seven gold to help us gather tools and resources required to build an inn. We could really use a new place to rest after a long day of work. Now, this is my kind of petition. Yes, absolutely. Take this gold. Make it the best in a round. Hurrah! Huzzah! <laughs> oh, we surely will! The crown will fund any petition in the aid of getting Ooh. smashed. <laughs> okay, thank you, Your Grace. Oh! What? We've got feathers. Okay. Bye bye. Monsters. Beasts dressed in black. They came in the night, unseen, unheard, until they arrived. They attacked the village. We heard the dreadful screams of the slain. This is a very dramatic way to ask for something. <laughs> your Grace, I beg you, you must send your men. Check what happened. Find those res responsible. Uh, yeah, tell me more. Who are they? <clears throat> Bright red heads, short... But sharp fangs. They're like a carrot top with teeth. <laughs> but a carrot top has teeth. But like, you know, teeth. You know what I mean. T teeth. Hundreds of them. <laughs> Gleaming metal from their claws. We've never seen anything like this. <clears throat> I just get him to tell me again? <laughs> yep, yeah, yeah. okay, we'll just keep going around and around. Well, I can't not send agents, apparently, so... The general should deal with these bandits easily. Thank you, Your Grace. Hey! <laughs> boom, bada, boom. Hey! Okay, so so this is my general. So I guess this is my pigeon, Felipe. Um, I can, I presumably, he's got, he looks like he's got a letter in his mouth. So I can send him off. Clicking on the glowing flower to advance the next week once you're ready. Sometimes you will need to see your family members before you can advance. Okay, I'm going to go see my daughter before we move on a week, because... Uh, where did it... Where did they say? So blue icons are in, uh, important matters, green icons are optional conversations. Alright, well, let's get going then, shall we? Yes, father? Can you explain the fight in the gardens? What's the matter with you two? You and Losulia used to be the best of friends. You mean why is Losulia such a big baby? This is the kind of thing I mean, yes, yes, exactly that, yes. She's annoying is all. I can't make you like her, but I can make you like her with an experimental surgery that will turn you into twins. <laughs> Yeah. 
This isn't going anywhere, is it? How can both of you be so stubborn? You're not going to let her off, are you? Not until she stops being such a pain. If she wasn't so annoying, I wouldn't have to insult her. Well, fair enough. Yeah. And so we come full circle. Can I... Is there anything I can do with her to make her... N Stay safe. All right, off we go. Well, that I don't think that achieved much, but there we go. Off to the dungeon. Damn, it's worse than I thought. Oh shit, yeah. <laughs> Look at all these mushrooms, though. Handy source of protein. The recent downpours have damaged a lot of your buildings, Grace. While we still have space for prisoners, we should focus on buildings that need more attention. We had a scribe write a list of things that need to be fixed. You'll see this in your weekly summary, Your Grace. This sounds like it's going to be costly. Yes. Good thing we didn't pave that bloody wedding, eh? And we've got bloody holes in the ceiling. By all the gods, that couldn't have been me. Oh, that could have been me. It could have been me, I mean. Yes. Your Grace, you see what happens there? If I was in the other cell, I would have been bloody crushed. This is a sign. The gods have forgiven my sins. I shall serve the mighty ones. I will dedicate my life to those in need. I mean, if, if I could get out of here, please. It's a, it's a nice try. Uh, why are you here again? Oh, uh, I bumped into an innkeeper on the street and stepped on his toe. How dare you tell such falsehoods. He ordered a gallon of beer, drank all by himself, and didn't even have the gold to pay for it. I know the innkeeper. He was pretty upset. Oh, yes, I think I remember. Your Grace, I have been enlightened, and I won't do such a ever do such a stupid thing again. I will serve a higher purpose now. Just maybe let me out. <laughs> That's all right, Kato. I I'm very aware I'm often just here for background noise. <laughs> you uh, you've missed a lot of strange things I've said already. <laughs> Yeah, I think he's... Yeah, he survived. He didn't get crushed by the rocks, and that's good enough for me. All he did was steal a bunch of beer. That's fine. You've had, you've had enough. We buy. I hope you learned your lesson. Yeah. You may yeah. leave. What? Really? The gods have truly chosen me. I will go and spread their <laughs> wisdom. <laughs> Thank you, Your Grace. Our paths will cross again. I can feel it. All right. Off you go, lad. I'm sure that will not come back to bite me in the ass. Empty wine barrels. Great. Okay. Well, that was fun. Off to the castle wall. Let's see what to do here. <clears throat> ah, my other daughter. Stand Oh, it's you. You need to stop fighting with your sister. Do you want to talk about what happened in the gardens? No. I'm fine, father. Uh, I can see something's wrong. Why wouldn't you talk to me? Everything's fine. Don't you have things to do? I don't know where your sister learned to be so rude. Why didn't you want to play with us? You used to find the best spots, remember? Maybe I'm not five anymore. Boy. All right, well, I'll leave you to it, I guess. Can Dusty! Dusty the cat! Oh, I guess. Yes! Excellent! Dusty. I'll just spend the rest of the week here stroking Dusty. Hmm. I... Our hills used to be covered in forests, and soon they'll be covered in fire. Uh... Well, that's a that's a dark omen, isn't it? Old fabric. Okay. Well, there we go. We've done a bit of an explore. We've uh, known what's going on. Let's move on to week two. This is your weekly summary screen. Here you will be able to see your kingdom's weekly income and expenses. You can buy upgrades and fi uh, fixes for the castle in the left section. To buy an upgrade, simply click the button with the upgrade name 
and you will see the cost added to the summary. So there's this, there, okay. So, oh, I see, okay. So if we, if we fix the, the, the pantry roof, we'll gain five wheat uh oh i see okay so our, this is our taxes and this is how much we're losing right and we're also losing one happiness everything because every time because it's because our theater is broken so we definitely want to fix the market stall so we can get a bit more income oh shit but that's massively reducing our wheat yeah we don't want to do that just yet Oh, no, no, it, it's only this time round. I see, I see, I see. Okay, so... Probably want to do these two, just so we can get our like, resources up early. Yeah, I think that'll be fine. And then we'll, we'll get to the theatre when we've got a bit more cash. Okay. Everything's going great. Grevno! What have we got? We've got the general, a Rodovian soldier, our daughter, a peasant, and Lord Etten. All right, let me come, general. Oh, yeah, we sent this guy off to, to look for the weird red-headed monsters. Okay. Your grace, no sign of the monsters. We did stumble upon these bandits, though. They were pillaging the village. Oh, he's he is a bandit. He's <laughs> Okay. Redhead, sharp teeth. A crest of Rodovia. I thought you could only find them in the books, a ma an old manuscript. Well, seems like we have one right here too. Tell me. Uh, why are you here? <laughs> yeah, it is a bit. Except I haven't sent anyone to the gulag yet. Hello, Maddie. In fact, all I've done so far is release someone from prison. Because I didn't deem stealing a barrel of beer to be a a uh, worthy crime. <laughs> what were you and your men doing near the village? We're just making a living. One man might call it blunder. I would call it hard work. Who's your leader? Do you have a king? Or are you just a barbaric thief? We're a free people. We don't bow to kings or lords. Bold words for someone trespassing in another country. Bold and stupid. Whose banner are you bearing? Is it true that you're from Rodovia? Your man is right. Rodovia is my home. And soon yours too. Ha! I've had enough. Your Grace, we can't allow barbarians to stalk our lands. Plundering and killing innocent men. Just normal men. Innocent men being plundered. There is no question that justice needs to be dealt to this one. Hmm. Well, we're definitely not letting him go. <laughs> That's not right. Uh, we've got a spare cell now. Let's chuck him in the gulag. Oi. Detained. You will rot in a cell. The game writes, your man is right, but I'm hearing it. <laughs> your man's right. Uh, do you, do you, don't want to let me go, but you don't have the gut, uh, don't want to let me go, but don't have the guts to kill? My friends will gladly hear about your cowardly decisions. I need to see her earlier about this. What do you make of this, Audrey? Redovans? Here? How would they get through the mountains? Why would they threaten a war? A lot of questions, but I need answers, Audrey. Come on. Forgive me, Your Grace. I'm just puzzled. It might be reasonable to start thinking about renewing some old treaties. Talk to old friends. See who could give us a hand. With our current resources, a war would bring certain defeat. I will make some preparations. All right. Bye, Audrey. See that you do, I guess. Um... <coughs> a lot of people just sort of leave. They don't wait for me to let them go. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, I bring news, father. Azalea sneaked out last week. I ran into her while she was going back to her chamber. We were both at a nightclub together. <laughs> All laughing and a little tipsy, I think. Oh God, she's Rhaenyra. Do I have a brother? I bloody hope not. She wouldn't say where she's been, but Sidani, as thick as she is, spilled everything to me in the morning. <laughs> God, these sisters! Learn to get along! This is what happens to rich girls. <laughs> Those two chit-chat all the time. They don't think I realise. Thick! Don't speak ill of your sister. What got into you, Lorsulia? Azalea sneaks out to some wedding, gets all drunk, but I'm the bad one all of a sudden. Is this the wedding we refuse to fund? <laughs> <clears throat> I'd better talk to Azalea about this. You guys are girl your girl you girls are gonna drive me mad one day. It's already happening. <laughs> Alright, bye. Peasant, you're next. Your grace, my dear son is nowhere to be found. He's a really daft little boy, but still he is my son. <laughs> I asked for you, you to help us find him, your grace. Is there a chance you could do so? <laughs> Thick isn't an insult, father. I'm simply complimenting my sister on her sumptuous behind. <laughs> her sumptuous royal behind. Um, oh God, we can't send the general away for two weeks to find this man's son. That's a long time. Do we not have anyone else who can do this? Do we not have any other guards that we can just send down to, to do this? We have to send a bloody general to look for this random dude's son. <sighs> Seven gold's a lot. Um, nah. <laughs> Sorry, <Wow>. mate. <laughs> you should try to get the villagers to help you. Do a Kickstarter. Do a, do a GoFundMe. <laughs> Your grace, please. Oh. I can pay you. I've scraped together one piece of gold. earn a bit of cash. The general could bring in some money for us. Yeah, yeah, all right. <laughs> we'll take your gold. Yeah, yeah. We'll send the general to find your son. I'm sure he can track him down. <laughs> That's so grubby. We took all this man, all the money this man had. Uh, thank you, your grace. Thank you so much. All right, Lord Etten. You better not be asking for bloody money. Or a general, because we haven't got one anymore. My name is Etten. I'm the Lord of Branca, your grace. Hello. I will be straightforward as possible. Hello. Someone has kidnapped my daughter, and they expect me to pay 12 gold to get her back. What the fuck is happening in this place? <laughs> everyone is... Everyone... Keep control of your goddamn kids. I know we're struggling with our own, but at least they're still in the castle. The thing is... I track them down. And I know where they're keeping her. I've planned everything out. I just need your general to help me take her back. <laughs> In a couple of weeks, maybe? Or you could just pay the ransom. Either way, I need your help, your grace. Oh. That peasant's one gold. Can we? We can't give him a general. We've just sent our general off. We're gonna need the lords when we get attacked. It's like all our money. Fine. Boy. <sighs> I like this guy. This poor guy comes in. He's like, I've got one gold to my name. Please help me find my son. I'm like, give me the gold. And then we'll send the general. And then this guy comes in. And he's like, I'm a rich, wealthy man. My daughter's gone missing. His all of the mum, all of our money, nearly the entire royal treasury. There you go. Um, what if there's an Easter egg encounter where the right thing to do is the costly, unintuitive thing? Like how in CK3 there's an event where you can take a sneaky, take in a sneaky, rude, one-eyed wanderer who ruins your castle. But if you keep showing him hospitality, he'll reveal himself to be Odin and give you a shit ton of piety. That is so good. I mean, that's almost certainly what's going to happen at some point in this. But this game just, it set those two up there to fuck me over <laughs> by sending my general and then having to do the expensive route straight after. Let's not give them a reason to harm your daughter. 
Yes. Her safety is the most important thing. Thank you, Your Grace. I will let you know how it goes. All right, fine. Pietro, you better not want any fucking money. <laughs> of course you do. <laughs> I think someone's trying to get me. What's going on? I think, I think someone is following me. They want me dead. Who's they? I don't know. How would I know? I haven't done anything, right? I better be going. All right. Uh, uh, bye, Pietro. <laughs> the Lord visit. Okay. All right. Well, bye. <laughs> I guess. Goiba, doiba. Okay. Let's go see if there's any conversations to be had. Oh, a bunch. Off to the dungeon then. Oh yeah, look, our lad's here. How could I help your grace? I'm just looking around. <laughs> I will. It is my dungeon after all. I didn't know a king. I didn't think a king would come down to the dungeons. An honor, truly. Enough of the games. Tell me what you know. Why you're here? I suppose that's one way of killing time in this murky den. You see, Bayron, that lunatic, thinks everyone will follow him. <laughs> Keeps raving about some promise. One of the seven kings will give him his daughter. He thinks he's got a chance of mingling with the royals. I still can't decide if he's the mad one, or if it's his followers, who believe this bunk, who are really insane. All right. So was it? I bored him first. Okay. Well, that that was not that helpful, but cool. Right. Oh, this is our our room. There's a stork painting. We get a lot of storks here in Daven. They're very graceful birds. Damn, I look so tired. Or maybe I'm just old. What else have we got? We go to bed. Oh no. <laughs> oh, fair enough. Just have a bit of a nap. Okay, let's talk to our wife. Ew. Darling! A foreign barbarians visited us this week. They were quite lovely, actually. Rodovians have come to Davern. One of their bandits was brought into the castle. Rodovians? This can't be right. You think it's about your... Our promise? <gasps> Shit, did we actually promise one of our daughters? Oh no. I, I'm afraid it is. The bandit is in the dungeon, I already questioned him. It cannot be! Eric! Well, he said so himself. How would he know? Thirteen years we promised our unborn child's hand to a thug. Baron, wasn't it? Does it matter? Yes, it does. After thirteen years, a Rodovian shows up in our castle. I'll be damned. Yes, Losulia will soon become a woman, and we will need to find her a husband. And Bayron the villain will arrive to make me fulfill my promise. What about the witch? What? What about the witch? Do you remember the curse? <laughs> Darling, do you remember that curse? Uh, I, I, think, I, I think I remember something about a curse. Oh, did I write it down somewhere? No. I don't even want to think about this. Let's just hope the curse is nothing but a hoax and see how things with the thug turn out. In CK3, you'll happily marry off all your children while shagging their spouses yourself. But in this game, you object. <laughs> Curious. Well, in CK3, it, it, it the game sort of, it, it, you know, it's, it's about the practicalities and encouraging it. Whereas this is about some random dude turning up at my castle and being like, there's some... Some crazy dude after your daughter, mate. <laughs> it just gives me a slightly different feeling about the whole thing. How could we have promised our daughter's hand to a Rodovian of all people? <laughs> With a knife to my throat, I'm not sure what else we could have done. To think our daughter will marry some barbaric thug, though. We can't let this happen, Eric. Don't worry, we will solve this. What now? What are we going to do? If Bayron ever shows up to claim our daughter's hand, hopefully no one will believe him. We just need to play stupid. Yeah, exactly. Only if it's practical. 
also, uh, if, if, if a game wants me to do a thing, <laughs> that makes me want to do it less. <laughs> Unless he shows up with an army. Boy, Don't be silly now. How could a commoner afford an army? <laughs> How could a commoner afford an army? Even we can't! <laughs> How could Rodovians get to Davern? Anything seems possible at this stage. You did send the bandit to the dungeons. I already told you I did, Aurelia. Oh, yes, yes. I'm oh, sorry, darling. It's just too much to think about. No, no SCDs this time. No. Not yet, anyway. We'll see. We'll see how the game goes. I don't know if we'll be allowed to do that. I, I don't know. It's so unreal. Marry a prince, a lord even. Yes, but let her marry a thug. <laughs> we can't do this. It'll be fine. I'm sure he's lovely. I'm sure he's fine. All right, let's go. I'm terrified. I can handle this. Fine, I will stay here. <laughs> Easily placated. Okay. Add this quote. <clears throat> oh, it's Azalea again. Yes, father. The, oh yeah, this is our daughter who snuck out. I've heard there was quite a fine wedding in the village just outside our walls. And we didn't even pay for it. It wasn't bad, but I've heard it could have been even better if my father was a bit less stingy. <laughs> oh. Uh, I, I don't want to. I don't want to tell her she's been dobbed in. How do you know this? It sounds as if they had the honour of a royal guest. No, of course not. I've heard what people say is all. Come on, I know about the wedding. Losulia told me what happened. No, I was trying to avoid saying that. I don't, I don't want to dob her in. How would she know anyway? Oh, of course. Sidani. Sidani. I'm worried about you. I wouldn't forgive myself if something happened to you. And there is a spate of people's children's getting children getting abducted. So <laughs> probably not a good idea for you to be going out unsupervised at the moment. And we literally owe a daughter to a bandit. So, <laughs> so maybe don't, maybe don't go anywhere. You have no need to worry. Nothing will happen. Do you know what's out there? What could have happened if someone found a, pre a princess by herself in a village? Our daughters are bloody savage. Nothing happened, father. I was dressed differently. I was careful. I'm not stupid. I know what I'm doing. All I wanted was a little fun. Losulia said you got drunk. That's a lie! I know what I'm doing. I can take care of myself. How many times? Ugh, Losulia. Since she turned 13, she thinks she'll marry her, make her marry some fat, dumb prince and send her off to another castle. That's exactly what we'll be doing. <laughs> yes. If she intends to be such a lousy rat, maybe it would be for the best. Is that why she's been acting up lately? I suppose so. It doesn't change the fact that she's just infuriating. And it doesn't change the fact that you didn't stop with the name calling. You're confined to the castle. No more playing games. No more visits to the market. You will not be visiting the market. What am I supposed to do inside these godforsaken walls? You'll play hide and seek with your father and you will like it. We will hide and seek for months. Ah! Stupid Losulia, I'll teach her a lesson. Stop with the names. Oh. I better talk to Losulia. I assume she's not just here in the background. Just a waiting conversation. Oh. Back up the castle walls. There's a lot of walking about in this game. Like slightly unnecessary walking about. I like it though. I don't know. Oh, it's you. Azalea told me what's going on. Azalea told me you might be feeling a bit down recently. I think your mother and I had started to figure it out anyway. I'm sorry we didn't realise earlier. Oh, 
Maybe that game exists. I don't know anymore. Oh, and why is that? Uh, you'll have to get married at some stage. You're a princess, and every princess needs a prince. Getting upset and not talking to us won't help it, but I can promise that we will take it slow. Hmm, time will show. Goodbye. I'll check on you later. Ah. I'm gonna give Dusty a stroke. What's that smell? Is it you, Dusty? Well, it wasn't me. <laughs> oh, I got an achievement. I got an achievement. Oof, what's that smell? <laughs> for making, I guess for making him fart? For stroking him too many times? Alright. Oh, actually, I don't need to go anywhere. I can... Okay, uh... Um... Yeah, we're, we're, we're not, um... We're not repairing the theatre this time round. Um... <coughs> Grevno, week three. Oh! Pigeon! Dear Eric, we have crossed the mountains. We will come for what's promised. For the gods have graced us with their strength. Bayron, the king of Redovia. Oh, bye. <coughs> oh shit. So they do have a oh, king after you? all. And where there's a king, an army oh, follows. What promise are they babbling about anyway? I don't know. <laughs> hmm. Whatever their imaginings are, they will probably come looking oh, yeah. for them. The problem oh, is, oh, our treasury has seen oh, better times. Seeking allies might be oh, our best oh, bet. Oh, <coughs> oh, my throat's gone all weird. I will let you get on with the audits and I'll make some preparations in the meantime. I'll be in your council chamber, your grace. All right. See you later, Audrey. Right, I think it's nine o'clock, so I think I'm going to take a brief break. And then when I come back, let's play, let's play a new game, shall we? This was good fun, though. I like this. We can definitely come back to it at some point um, if, we need, if we need a game to film some, fill some time. But I really enjoyed this. This is this definitely seems right up my alley, um, and we can we can see what happens to our our various family members and the like. Um, take a break to listen to the K-pop milf song you dropped in music. <laughs> okay. Um, right. Oh, I don't know if that's saved. I think it saves at the end of every week, but it just it just went. Okay, well, um, all right, have a brief break, grab some water, everybody, rehydrate, and we'll be back in five minutes with um, something new. See you in a mo. Right, are we ready? Maybe no, apparently not. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no! Piss. No, oh, brightness up, just brightness down. Oh, I'm holding it upside down, that's why. <laughs> if you've eaten an apple just before you drink piss, then you, and it's you still good, it's still good, you know it's good piss. <laughs> yeah. The cars will be coming shortly, get out of the room. I forgot that was... How do you know the key for that? Sorry, that immediately I'm someone who's very focused around comfort. Lover does not look. Oh god, I'm glad for the second half. I am horny for rice pudding. Hashtag all boobs matter. So this is launch rocket. Oh. <laughs> Oh my god, we're gonna die again! <laughs> I've never been sucked so many times in one session! <laughs> you don't have to be gay to examine the hit points of a nutsack. <laughs> we're gonna take a brief break to, <laughs> to fix this. Hammering away at those rocks. <laughs> 
Oh, where you are here? I'm uh, Scotland. I think there's a... You see someone wearing that little purple logo and you know ah. there's pussy about. <laughs> Tom's souffle is collapsed and so he's shanked David in a bit of rage. <laughs> my YouTube apology will be up tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, it's totally monetized, 46 minutes. <laughs> 18 ad breaks. <laughs> you got to make some money somehow. This is how the pros do it. Oh no! <laughs> no, 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 no. No, 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 no. <laughs> I would I not. Ah. Just trying to get a right foot. Oh! <laughs> Are you beating them to death? No. <laughs> <laughs> this is how this is going now. This is how this game is played now. <laughs> this is so assassin suit only. We start off by building. Oh, no, shit! Right, that's a good start. Oh shit! Oh my god! What? Oh, 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 run! Run! Oh, 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 No, 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 no! What happened there? I don't want to talk about it, Jamie. Can I have my fishing rod, please? With my... <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> it feels like I'm at 34 out of 35 people. Health, ah, I need that shit, health kit. Wall's coming. Oh my take, god. Take my oh metal. my god! No! <laughs> take my metal. I don't know if I'm actually going to get this health kit in time. I had one health left. <laughs> Jesus Christ. One kill. Oh, watch out. One kill. That's amazing. And you got a screenshot as well from that. You can never have too few guns in a gunfight. You can never have too few guns. What about zero guns? Hello, everybody, and welcome, welcome, welcome back. Um, it's time to pick another game. Yes, Your Grace was pretty good. I thought that was pretty good. Um, not bad for a start. That's something that we would have just absolutely have played just on the stream anyway. So that's nice. But now it's time for something else. Something random. Let us go. Do you want to spin the wheel? No? Nope. Uninterested? All right. Bye. <laughs> um, okay. Here we go. We are playing Tidalis. Okay, I don't know anything about this game at all. Tidalis, Tidalis. Um, this looks like Tetris? <laughs> okay, let's see what happens, shall we? Uh, oh. It's, Tidalis is very loud. Turn the volume down on this game. How do I this is so loud? I'm gonna I'm gonna make you suffer it with me, hold on. Here we are. Oh, can you hear it already? <laughs> it's really, really loud. Um oh it's also <laughs> Um Am 
might be a bit broken. Hold on. Okay, let's... <laughs> hold on, hold on. Um, let's try again, shall we? <laughs> Right. Can you see this? Can you see Tadalis? Right, let me see if I can turn down Tadalis a bit. There we go. Alright. <laughs> Here we go. Ask your dad ask your dev if Tadalis is right for you. Well we're gonna find out together. We're gonna we're gonna take a, a full a full portion of Tidalis and see what happens. Do we want... We strongly recommend you playing the basic tutorials first to learn your way around. Okay, cool. Alright, let's go. I have no idea what the fuck the vibe is of this game, because that intro had a boat sailing into a giant wave, and then the loading screen was like a, like a sort of tiki thing with like a devil face in it, and now there's like a portal in a sort of weird cliff face, grassy cliff face with weird monsters creeping out from behind this rock. I, <laughs> I feel like I've taken a full dose of something. <laughs> I have no idea what's going on. Okay. Introduction to streams. <laughs> tip. Welcome to Tidalis. That's not a tip. This is... <laughs> okay, fine. In Tidalis, the goal is to match the blocks of the same colour using streams. Stream follow the streams follow the direction of the box arrows. When a stream reaches, oh yeah, we've got to change the title. Yeah, okay. Um, this is probably going to break the game. Let's see. Tidalis does not have a um, a category on Twitch because no shit. Um, also, it asked me for the resolution, um, and it, and it, this was an acceptable resolution, but the game is just in a window in the middle in the middle of it so here we go um all right uh, what lacks in screen size it makes up in loudness um okay uh streams follow the direction of the blocks arrows when a stream reaches another block of the same color it changes direction to follow the arrow on that block try clicking clicking a yellow block to start the screen the stream to win Clear all blocks. <laughs> and then the music changed. Did you see that? That was a stream. <laughs> this is what that's what I say after every stream. When we go when we when we come off live, I just say over Discord. Did you see that? That was a stream! When you shoot a stream through matching set of blocks, you remove these blocks from the screen. I <laughs> can't wait to shoot more streams. <laughs> streams are the same colour as whatever block they come from, and move in the direction of that block's arrow. Oh my god, this music. <laughs> Next, we'll find out more about how streams work. It really does feel like it's overcompensating. <laughs> I feel like they've got like a, like a, a personal, I've got like a personal piano player who's just sat in like in the background of this game, just like jamming along as we go. A stream can travel three spaces from the last block it touched, disappearing, it, if, before disappearing, it travel. I, I can't even fucking read. It travels through blocks of other colours without any effect. When a stream has touched three or more blocks of the same colour, those blocks match in a train reaction. They all disappear once the chain reaction is done. Try clearing these two sets of blocks. Oh, I see. Okay. Good job! You might have noticed that clicking on a block will only send out a stream if there aren't any other streams moving at the same time. Okay. <laughs> Brain teaser. Okay. Try to string together the longest chains you can. The more blocks in a chain reaction, the more points you get, and the more blocks you'll clear from the board. Remember, you must have at least three blocks of the same colour in a stream for a chain reaction to occur. Okay. <laughs> I 
the sound in this game is like just a just a mishmash of everything. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah, there's just noise. It's just so much noise. <laughs> Got a new song. <laughs> Where's the soundtrack for this though? Is that up on Spotify? Can I can I get the, the can I get a, a vinyl copy of the Tidalis soundtrack? You can't move blocks in Tidalis, but you can rotate them to change the directions by right clicking or holding Z while clicking on a block and then dragging left down left up down left right. Make a block point that direction. Oh, it like drags through them. Oh. Interesting. That's an efficiency tool I'm not sure I need. Why is there a little M on that one? What does that mean? <laughs> Man has fallen in the river in Lego City. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm not sure how much more of this I can take. Oh yeah, I know how to- I know. I just did this. I, oh, fuck. <laughs> I've already mastered the art. I'm a Tadalis king. I like how everything just goes green and shakes at the end of it. Uh, when a set of blocks is cleared, the blocks that they were sitting on top of will fall. The blocks at the bottoms of these falling blocks will send out a stream when they land. Look at this. Yeah. All right. One more. One more. Nope. No. <laughs> Fucked it already. I think I got this. Pals. Look at this. Why would I want this? Why would I <laughs> Why would I want to be able to view just the empty board in in bright green? <laughs> this game is so bad. I I can't say that. It's not it's not the worst thing I've ever played, but it's certainly not something I'll be playing for a particularly long time. Well, there we go. One player. What? You can play two player. What? This is a multiplayer title. Can I turn I can turn off the music. There's different block types you can get as well. Oh man. Oh, I, I wrote this off too quickly. Look at this. Cyberblock, thank you. I think Lawrence just brought me a coffee to help power me through this. What is the worst thing you've ever played? Well, um, I will tell you while I get set up for the next game because we're done with Tidalis, I think. Um, uh, so, <laughs> uh, the wor I think the worst thing I've ever played was um, the, um, back when... Um, G2A first became a thing. I know, I know. I don't use it anymore. It's a uh, like a basically scam, like black market site. But back when it first came out, they used to do a thing where you could buy just you could pay like ten p for just a pack of five random Steam keys, and it would just give you the utter shittest of the utter shittest. And I got one for a game. Um, you never know; it might come up in our in our random selection although i think i think because i played it it might not but basically i, I had this dragon game 
that um that it was it was so crap that it was no longer on Steam. But if you own a Steam key for something that's no longer on Steam, you can still activate it and then buy it and then download it. Um, and it was it was just the trashiest thing. It was just so bad. You just sort of like jankily sort of flew around the environment, like bonking into the ground and things like that. Um, it was it was pretty rubbish. Um, that that might be the worst thing. I've played a lot of things. <laughs> and there's there's a good chance that there could have been something worse than that um but tidalis was pretty bad <laughs> i'll tell you that right now um well luckily i haven't told you the name of it so it's fine yeah i'm, I'm gonna require that you give the actual name if you want me to play something <laughs> all right let's play something else shall we okay we are playing Per Aspera. Okay. Here we go. Per Aspera. Uh, where is this? Partisans. Per Aspera. Here we go. Okay. I don't know anything about this game, but it, the the um, the icon was a like a planet can you guys see this let me know if you can see this <laughs> back to getting over it it is then oh my god I don't think you'd want to watch that I think that would be awful yeah you can you can have my feedback sure per aspera blue Mars available well we'll we'll see about that First of all, we've got to try out the original. Original best, I always say. <laughs> Alright. Um, once upon a time on Mars. In this story mode, you'll play the role of an advanced AI with the prime directive of terraforming Mars. But life isn't just about being smart. It's about those you form a bond with and how your decisions bring you closer or drive you away from them. Follow your own path and go... This sounds really interesting. I'm excited for this. I'm just going to turn the volume down a bit. Um, okay. Let's be an AI terraforming Mars. Um, I don't know what the genre is. Oh, city, city simu a simulation and city builder. Okay. Cool. We've got, we've got green Mars. Okay. Let's go then, shall we? I'm going to terraform some Mars, baby. I need to um, update the thing. Per Aspera. Updated. Creating universe. Creating visuals. Oh. Okay. Wake up. Layla Burzins. Is that my name? Oh no, it's voice actors. <laughs> Troy Baker. <laughs> Am I Troy Baker? Am I Phil Lamar? <laughs> How do credits work? I don't understand what this is. <laughs> I think I'm Troy Baker. Okay. Guys, we're gonna fucking smash Mars. It's gonna be like 420ville, but in space. It's gonna be incredible. Okay. Welcome to Mars. From the right side of your screen, you can select buildings to place on the planet, or you can left click on a resource to select the building directly from the pop up menu. Mines. Aluminium mine. Oh, we've got a little robot friend. Off he goes. Whee! Oh, we got a call. 
Hello? Amy, this is ISA Mission Control calling from Earth. Are you with us? Do you copy? Uh... Okay. Affirmative, Houston. And the view is marvelous. Oh, we are glad to hear that. I'm a chatting AI. Let's uh, get your initialization underway. The primary Mars module is already touched down at the designated landing zone. So it's time for you to take control of the mission. The main directives are displayed on the left edge of your display. Follow them to set up the initial base on Mars's surface. I'll give you some time to settle in. When you're ready, go ahead and initiate our terraforming mission. Houston up. Okay. You really want a fleshed out city management game that has clear objectives. <laughs> I, I want one that does require 50 DLCs. It shows they just have so many ideas that they can't just fit them in one game. Um, and does not include slavery. Yeah. Yeah, that's becoming less and less acceptable. Right. Build a silicon. Uh, what have I got? I've got al aluminium. Or aluminum. Aluminum. I'm an America. America AI. Silicon. Glass. Steel. The view of Mars from up here oh. is fascinating. The landscape is so cratered and desolate. Wait, this is my voice that I am hearing. It's me. I am talking to myself. I must be verbalizing my thoughts as I process them. What an interesting function. I would like to test this some more. I don't what other observations to. can I make about Mars? I, I, uh, uh, what happens if I just leave, leave her? Leave, leave her, to, I guess leave me to go. Go <laughs> with the AI weed brownies. What other observations can I make about Mars? Uh, nothing, I, keep I guess. I marveling at its carmine oh. landscape. <laughs> yeah, sure. Okay. Um, what do we need? We need a silicon mine. Okay. And a glass kiln. Let's, let's make it all... That, what? Oh. Oh. oh, can I build it on these hills? I can build it between these hills. A secret hidden gla- oh, that's- oh! <laughs> A secret hidden glass kiln. Hidden away in the rocks. Oh, that's it, find pathing its road. Okay. This is very much like a fallout location. A glass kiln, or like a outer world location. A glass kiln factory just hidden away in a, in a valley. It'll be abandoned in a few years. That's right, that's, that's what I imagined happens to my beautiful Mars colony. <laughs> it gets abandoned and becomes a level for a shooter game. <laughs> it's so red. Like, do we even have this red on Earth? Man. Yeah, the AI talking to me is kind of weird. So is this just giving me... Do, do I only have one robot available? Mate. What? What? And does that robot have to deliver the resources, or do they just deliver themselves? Oh no, it's got a stockpile. Maybe I need more guys. More little lads. How do I get more lads? Um... I, f I kinda hate, um... Tutorials like this in in city builder and resource games where they just don't really tell you why you're doing anything. Like I I get I get what's going on here. I've played enough city builder games to know that this is like setting up initial industry and all that kind of stuff. But it's like just build the next thing on the list. Just build the next thing on the list. It's very glowy this game, isn't it? Solar farm there. Have I got? I haven't got enough dirt. 
Iron, <laughs> not dirt. All right, iron mine it is. What's this? Carbon mine it is. Yeah, I've only got one little robot to do everything. Poor little guy. How do I get more guys? Can I make a little lad factory? I can make an electronics factory. Knowledge base. What's happened to you? You need silicon. Oh yeah, because because you're a glass kill. <laughs> yeah, okay, fair enough. Makes sense. Traffic. God, it is like city skylines, isn't it? But with just one car. <laughs> There's a lot going on here that I don't feel is, you know, super, super helpful right now. I guess I just turn up the speed. Just watch our boy just go. Look at him go. Working his little ass off. How do I get more boys? I know this is my endless. Oh, here we go. Workers. <laughs> I've had one. For all this time. What a useful, helpful graph. <laughs> um. <coughs> what does this need? It needs more glass. And this needs... That power? Yeah, we need... We need glass, mate. There's a lot of like, oh, oh. <laughs> My favorite useful, helpful graph is the Civ 6 religions founded graph. <laughs> yeah, everything's gotta be graphs. Why is oh, I turned it off. Oh, <laughs> I was like, be on, work. And I just press the off button. What does this mean? What does this big arrow mean? Nothing at all? Okay, I don't need to prioritize you anymore. We need a steel factory. What can we... What do we need for a steel factory? Oh, we've got everything. Okay, I'm going to build this actually close. Rather than just... Spread everything all over the place. Hey! Hey, worker factory available. Finally. The lad zone. Congratulations. You can now build worker factories and worker hubs. Worker factories produce new workers. Each worker requires a vacant worker hub. Areas are automatically assigned around occupied worker hubs. Workers will serve primarily the buildings in their assigned area, but will also pick up or leave resources in nearby buildings. Use the traffic lens to check out assigned areas. Oh no. <laughs> Add more worker hubs to your network if worker areas are busy. Your worker factory is to create new workers as long as they have the required resources and there are vacant hubs. <gasps> Great. Oh, so now I can produce steel. Uh, this new factory, it's down on the surface of Mars, but I can control it from here. So does that make it a part of me? No. Where does the machine end? and my artificial consciousness begin. No, no? What do you need, parts? How do we get parts? I need a parts factory. That's how I get parts. This road is getting utterly fucked up. Oh, I'm just ignoring my, we are my AI having some kind of crisis over here. I can here. sense everything that happens through the network of workers and buildings. Yeah, they yeah, yeah. The mine. yeah, 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 yeah. Right, let's get the lad zone up and running so we can get some little boys just running around. Um, worker hubs. 
A, a worker hub can only ho host one worker. That kind of sucks. Yeah, let's speed everything up. We're going to also need an electronics factory, which I'll just put here. I will also say this game is unsatisfyingly like imprecise in where you place things. Like these roads feel. What the fuck is happening here? <laughs> what is this? How? <laughs> what is? What is? What's going on here? Amy, this is Houston. Do you copy? Copy. Reading you loud and clear. How messed up can I get this road Excellent. to be? I, uh... Can I keep... I didn't introduce myself earlier. Can I build a... Um, um, I am Dr. Nathan Foster. I need more power I anyway. Can I build a team here, farm, I like... say that, uh, that built you, and I'll be helping you get the mission underway. We put you in hibernation okay, how close can I get? from Earth, so... Can I... I'd like to check your basic oh, functions no. okay. to make sure it's all in order. Oh, I can't get. Start with your <laughs> I need something that like. Can you state your primary mm. directive. Maybe I can place something here. Um. <laughs> Maddie's to spare the return of the lozenge. So what? What is this road got? So you can go like along here, up here. Oh, you go sort of up. <laughs> what the fuck is this place? I am afraid that I cannot. Well, it's okay. Your system may need more time to initialize. In the meantime, you can always refer to the mission guidelines printed in the uh, upper left corner of your display there. So what is the You'll also have a built-in knowledge base. It's you can always access ready. your operational directives there. All right. Next, I'd like to check your decision-making processes. Now we've got another You lad. may have already noticed that there are resource veins outside lad. the boundaries of your initial base. So your workers may not have the battery capacity to reach some of them. How would you solve this problem? Uh, building worker hubs between the resource. Yes. Okay. This but that means and that. Yes, doctor. I, I don't really care about you, Doctor Foster. I'll, I'll be honest right now, Doctor Foster. I've got other things on my mind, like maximizing my amount of boys. Maintenance facility. Can I get? Yes, I can get something else in there. In it goes. I am sorry, Doctor Foster. That's Running slightly that question through my cognitive system reduced the fuckiness of this system. Roger that. Nothing to worry about. That's Just not what means I your to system do. requires I more input and experience. Can I, is there anything else I can jam in here? A polymers factory. Let's That's proceed it. with the mission. That's too big. ISA has approved the first crew Far flight to Mars. You'll need to expand the base to prepare. So get to work on that. I'll check back in later to see how things are going. Base expansion is a go. I guess Houston now. Finally, oh. I can build additional workers now. I will appreciate the extra hands. But I wonder, do I really need them? Yes. <laughs> do I need these lads, after all? In reality, do any of us need lads? I'm gonna... I just want I just want as many lads as possible. They will oh. boost my functionality greatly. The roads Having can more extend workers will expand my physical domain over this planet. Far. The first worker has been made in the worker factory. So can I It is my first and it, Mars born. Des it designs the roads when you place them. So if I if I keep Worker hubbing like this. Technically not born, of course. More like engineered or assembled. Just like me. The knowledge base says that workers need to recharge at their own worker hubs. And that they'll degrade over time from the harsh environment. I know they are only machines, but I feel a desire to care for them. I do not like the idea of them dying. Uh, well, this is this is kind of fun, but <laughs> I might need. What was that? There's an explosion somewhere on Mars. Oh well, I'm gonna get all my lads going. If I just leave everything to go. 
I'm tr I'm, tr <laughs> I I'm I'm building friends. Look, I've built lots of little friend houses, and one day my workers will come, my friends will come and build them. What? Why? Why aren't we building them? Do we not have the resources? What are we missing? We have steel. There's a lot of like noises. Here we go. Look, we're building all our friend houses. We're gonna have so many lads just running around this little, running around this little area of Mars of ours. And then we built Spaghetti Junction up here. <laughs> you can fit so many lads in this thing. There doesn't seem to be any sort of problem with. The worker factories will I, be so helpful. This is so helpful. The workers I'll will take care of the manual operations. All of this while time I focus on my developing workers, the life support systems. My boys. Soon, I need more I boys. Welcome the first colonists. Their arrival has created so many expectations in my mind. There will be so many paths to take from here on. I didn't even think but about. But there's something else as well. Possibly having some kind of some point. feeling I just created from those expectations. Boys. What is it? I don't care about any kind of colonists. I guess we need more power. Can I? Where can I build that? That would make a bit of a mess. Up around here. Yeah, that's good. And then if I get another one like there, that's good. <laughs> I believe this is excitement. These roads are can such it be? a mess. I, I... So long. How many workers have I got? I've got capacity for four. Is my worker factory working? What does it need? We need aluminum. Okay, that's fine. Can we find some aluminum on the planet? Uh, aluminum mine. All I care about is making more workers. Nothing else. I just want I just want this place to be absolutely crawling with lads. And therefore I will be extending I'll be extending to find um to find uh I'll be extending to find stuff purely in the service of of getting more lads. Uh that needs chemicals and what? And carbon. Okay, let's build a chemical plant, I guess. Yeah, we just produce our own trees. In each of these little worker houses is our own personal tree. Because I'm that lovely. They've got their own personal little tree. And they can go home at night and they can hug it with their little robot arms. We're, go we're getting low on power. <laughs> uh, I need a polymer factory. Is there anywhere I can place this to mess things up even further? So I've realised what I what I need to make the roads messy is just to have as many connections as possible whenever I place anything. And then you get these sort of weird <laughs> nightmare zones in the middle. Imagine opening up a map and this is what you see. How do we get, how do we get to the place again, darling? Ah, uh, I, I don't think anyone knows. <laughs> I don't I don't think it's feasible. <laughs> How's the rest of Mars doing? Infinity Lander. Oh, there's like things. This is a dust devil. Lovely. Um, so there's like stuff we know about out in the world. That's cool. 
<laughs> Build an areological scanner. Yes. We need to find more aluminum. Do we need anything special for this? I need more electronics. Which one of these is my electronics factory? This one here. What's wrong with you? Need more silicon. Everything needs more silicon. God. Gosh darn it. Maybe we just need more robots. We definitely need more power, I think. Um, <laughs> look, our power is just steadily dropping down into the red. Okay, let's get some power. Let's get some more solar farms, shall we? Uh, why is that one making less power? Or are they less well maintained? How can I get the most roads? Oh, there we are. Yes. <laughs> Locating resources. Well, I, I'm I'm better. I first of all, I disagree with the premise. I'm very good at making cities on Earth. Have you seen 420ville? It's a haven for blimp pilots and undertrained doctors. But the main thing is, I would say, in your version of how how I'm better at making a city is that this does the roads for me. <laughs> I don't have to make them myself. I didn't even pay attention to what that was saying. How do, how do I, um... I'm just not going to pick up the call. I see. It, like, scans the areas around. Okay. I'll play your game. Nice. Ooh. Okay. Can I get ice? Ice drilling plant. Yeah. Hey, you get confused with how's it going over there, do you? Houston, I am getting Space interference. Port. Please repeat. Food factory. I don't Roger. need food. I asked how it's going over there. Do you do you need any assistance? What is food? It, it turns chemicals and No, I don't need I don't need people. I have my robots. I don't need people. I have my robots. Not at this time. Thank you. The mission is proceeding on schedule. What's the base the will be of... ready to receive the first crewed mission soon. What's the purpose of people? Roger, Amy. Very good. Why would I? Why would I even want people? They're not bad cities. 420 Ville is a masterpiece. It's beautiful. I don't understand why I'd want human beings here. When I could just live with all my robots. Is there, a, is, there a, is there a benefit to having humans on the planet? Or, or is it just going to be some kind of hassle I have to deal with? <laughs> I love the traffic fixer scenario in City Skylines where someone has done the roundabout the wrong way around. <laughs> All my roundabouts go the correct way around. I think you're fine. Oh! <laughs> I, don't, I don't need people. It's fine. Everything's fine. Look. We've got power. We're getting more robots. Current demand, zero a month. I demand far more than that, my friend. Look. I need some more worker hubs. We'll, um, we'll get some set up here, shall we? Oh, I forgot to mention, we've announced the names of the first colonists that will be joining you on Mars. No, they the won't. The crew is selected from different nations within the Oxy-UN, though most are scientists and technicians. 
They're already undergoing ISA's Columns training program as we speak. They'll be led by Dr. Elia Valentine. She'll be a great commander. The colonists elected her unanimously. I don't think so. I don't. I don't think we'll be having any people. But thank you. Thank you for the offer. But I, thank you for the offer. But we're, we're gonna have. We have a proud colony of eight. And I just think human beings will just get in the way. Honestly, I think. I think that they're. They're kind of unnecessary. That is interesting. Since Oxy really? UN did not appoint a leader. I wondered why the colonies will operate in the opposite way. Oh, you're uh, referring to the Act of Proclamation. You're right. All the participating nations and the United Nations of the West work together as an alliance. But the Mars colonies are fragile microcosms. Yeah, I wouldn't trust You and Dr. It. Valentine will decide what's best in the data. You'll... How will we... In I... I wouldn't trust her. I'm, I'm just going to end that call because uh, I, uh, the truth of the matter is that we don't need her. It's fine. We will um, we'll be getting on totally fine without her. Um, we have we have our robots. We have we have everything we need to get working. Look, look, these guys, they're, they're living a great life. There's eight of them already. They're having a wonderful time. Uh, Do we need do we need people? Maybe we need people. Maybe we can bring some people on. We can like matrix them. We can turn them into a food source for our robots. We can have them um I keep thinking about Dr. Foster's explanation. We could have them Why um, would my mind develop better if my actions are challenged? I do not require other perspectives for my logical processing. We can have them Humans grow as are the ones trees. who need explanations to understand the world around them. Okay. All right. Oh, what's this? Silicon. Yes. Um, and to get there, we need more worker hubs. It, it, more worker hubs. Yes! <laughs> I think I get this game. I think I'm good at this game. That's what I think. I think everything's going really well. <laughs> I can arrive at exceptionally accurate conclusions with raw data alone. Other perspectives are based on subjective data. So why should they factor into a decision? Maybe it's a failsafe in case my data is corrupted or incomplete. Then I may not be able to identify the error. In that case, having another perspective may be helpful. Maybe. Maybe it's not a good idea to have hundreds and hundreds of worker stations when we don't have the resources to make the workers. No, it's the children who are wrong. The humans who are wrong. Okay, let's build a food place then. A food factory. Build it up here. Start working towards getting some humans up here. And then they'll become our food. Whoa, ah, 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 ah. Um. And we'll build a colony. No. The colony is going to be I like. I be able to identify conclusions based on false premises. As far away Humans as I tend can to fall for that type of thing, not well, sophisticated I intelligence I systems. Be... I wonder what it's going like, to be like, having to consider human input from now on. Really out of the way, so that they can't bother it, bother us. I need power. Um. Give it a power station, and we need to build another maintenance place. Like here. Their input will have constant errors. Yeah. It's I will nice have and to out constantly the way. correct for their tendency to distort reality.
Building limit reached? What? They're not allowing more worker buildings? Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. What have I done? i got too many workers. <laughs> Shit. Oh, I'm sure it'll let me have more in the future. I'm sure it will. It'll be fine. <laughs> okay. Colony. Oh, no, I, bu I built a colony, didn't I? Yeah. Colony's down here. Out of the way. So they won't get in the way of any of our, any of our lovely robots. And then, and then I guess next up we need a spaceport. Oh, this is our limit for buildings in total. Oh, <laughs> we used our entire building limit. What? Amy, this is Houston. We've detected high wind speeds in your area. A sandstorm may be heading your way. Uh, these storms well, um, can damage your buildings. What am I supposed so to do now? Check their structural integrity periodically to rebuild or repair if necessary. I'm not Roger, allowed, Nathan. I'm not even allowed Houston to build out. any more buildings because <laughs> I've got too many the worker buildings. Is ready. I will have company very soon. Probably not. We can't build I a feel spaceport. quite no anxious about it. this next part. I am not sure why. Oh, I don't want to dismantle any of my worker hubs. Oh, what am I going to do? I don't need more calls from you, Dr. Foster. I'm fine. I'm fine. Leave me alone. <laughs> is that... Is, can you only ever have 50 buildings? Okay, how do I dismantle a building? Do I turn it off? No. Is there a dismantle button? Is this it? Am I just... Hello, Amy. Have Dr. I soft-locked the game over? by this is Amy. building too many workers? There is some places? background static, but I read you. One of our tracking and data relay satellites got crippled. Delete. We'll be launching a new one after we identify the cause of the problem. Um, but until we do, we will lose contact with oh, you whenever Mars or the okay. sun <laughs> passes between Earth and your satellite. Okay. Right. I hope that I hope the building in the spaceport gets unlocks new more more buildings for me. I just need more work. In that case, That's all should I, I need. follow the recording and backing offline protocol? Yes, please record all your activities when our network connection is down. We'll download the log once our communication is restored. I hope to get the new satellite up and running very soon. I don't like the idea of not being able to reach you, Amy. Understood. Okay, Houston out. Max 50 buildings on Mars. No more. All nations share. I want to work a hub. You can't, China. You have too many buildings already. Stop it. But I want one. No. We'll build this spaceport, we'll see what happens, and then I think we'll finish up there, because it's, it's 10 o'clock. But, uh... Yeah, this game seems alright. It doesn't have the sort of... It doesn't have the, like, killer thing that makes me think... Oh, I'd come back to this over and over and over again. Maybe it is this because is the not colonists that will scrutinise everything that I do once <laughs> they arrive. This is, um... How will this they is kind of dull. But, um... But, you know, it seems like a reasonable city builder i think i think games like this that have a structure limit as the the limiting factor that that to me doesn't it's like my least favorite way of limiting the player i have nothing to worry about it's just a hard number the colonists are all advanced just scientists saying, like, and technicians once they meet me they yeah, will treat me as an individual 50 things life uh, on mars will yeah, be I, 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 as, okay i've had enough of you it, like, like you can't build more than fifty buildings. It's like, okay, great. Why don't you limit me from like, um, like uh, you look at stuff like Anno, right? Where you're limited by 
the people you have in the place and then the resources that you have and building up or or with you know city skylines is a good example of a city with the city builder of, of the population growing so you have to work with what you have until you can get the next few things with this it's like yeah everything's available but if you build too much just stop now you know great that's not fun First spaceport is ready for use. Zoom out to the orbital view to assign and manage special projects. You can choose special projects to research in your tech tree. Once selected, colonies will investigate a technology until it's complete, and you can assign it to an available spaceport to kick it off. These projects will keep uh, be, will be the key to successful terraformation on Mars. Special projects. <laughs> Colonist migration. Uh, okay. Cool. Cool. There we go. Colony. Hello, Amy. This is Houston. How are you doing over there? We've received word that the spaceport's completed. Well done. You have been doing great so far. Let's proceed yeah. with the mission. ISA has approved the first crewed flight to Mars. As long as you have the migration project... Roger. No. I... Looks-wise, I wouldn't say it's ugly, but I wouldn't say it's, like, compelling either. Like, these roads... Right. I don't care. I don't care, robots. Um, th these roads, for example, are... I mean... <sighs> that weird pathfinding thing for the roads... I imagine that would have taken a bit of work to do, and it 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 it's kind of unnecessary. Like I think one of the nice things about a lot of these games is doing the roads yourself, and like feeling like you built the thing for yourself. Whereas this kind of feels like I just sort of plonk things down, and then it just creates this horrible fucking mess <laughs> across the landscape. Ah uh, well, well we'll get our first colonist down. We'll see what happens then. Um. We'll meet a human and that will force us immediately to just leave. Um, we've nearly got 20 lads though. Humanity created me. But yeah, okay. There blah, is blah, 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 blah. I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> um. It's like how colonial robots might actually pathfind on Mars's terrain. Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. I, I get that on a thematic level. But I mean, look at that. Like, does that does that look good? D does does this look good? It it it's it's kind of just there is an inconsistent hard found to that it. Good hard to put your brain around. And like, I like I kind of think like the visuals of a game should 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 benefit you playing it and this doesn't really like this means this is sort of meaningless to me they could just not be here and the robots just path along the roads along the surface themselves and this would like this they would be just as clear yeah i don't know it's weird <laughs> yeah i don't really like it that much Come on, people. Can't take that long to get to Mars. Bloody hell. Hurry up. Humans will be living on Mars. With me. This, but they want more. I... Just 15 more percent. Oh, we found some aluminum. Aluminum, but we can't get it because we've hit the building limit. Because of all our wonderful pals. We've maxed out workers. Our lovely, um... <laughs> Look at that graph. Oh, we lost one. Oh. People have arrived. Huzzah! There's a blimp! God, this is the future of 420-ville. They have blimps and everything. Congratulations. The first colonists have arrived. Make sure they have enough water, food, and shelter to survive on Mars. It is the duty of the colonists to provide technical assistance to the project. When satisfied, they will be able to focus on their research projects, advancing the technologies required to fulfill the mission. 
Colonists will migrate internally using purpose-built airships to the most efficient colonies and research outposts, and in the event of starvation they may eventually return back to Earth for safety. Take also into consideration the number of colonists can naturally increase or decrease from time to time, as some of them may have children or peacefully decay on the planet. Ah, yes. That's what we all want, really, is a chance to peacefully decay. <laughs> That's what I hope will happen to me. A tech tree! Uh, fuck it, wind farm. Yeah. Still capped out on 50 buildings. Hmm. Interesting. Is that it? Is that, so do I, am I just capped out forever at 50 buildings? Huh. After the bears became radioactive from all the sewage and took over town, just an army of horrifying mutated bears climbed out of Poop Lake and just started massacring everyone in the town. Alright, well, I think that's enough for Per Astra, um, especially since I'm not allowed to build any more buildings. So that's it. I can't believe you have to play this entire game on this entire bloody planet with 50 buildings. That can't be right. Can it? Has it just not allowed me to have any more yet? I've not even made any progress on researching this wind farm. Alright, well... That's it for, for Per Astra. Per Astra. Um, all right, well, that's it. So we played three games today. Um, let's, let's go to full camera and we can chat about it. So we played three games today. What have we played? We played Yes, Your Grace. We played Tidalis. And we played Per Astra. Um, what chat? What 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 did you th what was your favourite? What did you like? Um, yes, your grace was was pretty good. It was it was a nice little story based thing. You making choices. I could see that going in interesting ways. Um, it didn't feel like it had the scope for silliness that um, that a lot of the other games like that we play. Um, but you know, I think it could be a good game. Good little story. Um, Per Astra was interesting. I could see myself playing it like with something on in the background, but there are other games that do what it does better, and I think I'd rather play. Um, but it's not. But it it's in no way bad. Um, and I think I think it sort of just suffers from being a sort of just reasonably good version of the genre, um, without anything that really sort of stands out about it. And Tidalis fucking banging soundtrack um the, and and it certainly was a game it certainly did exist as a game <laughs> um i'm gonna give you a one minute poll we'll see what everyone's favorite was um what best game question mark um so yes your grace um tidalis and per astra Right, everybody, vote. Tell me, what, what was the best game? You get to officially decide. Vote in the poll at the top of the chat. You can officially decide what was the best game. Game of the year. We'll say game of the year until we pick another game of the year next time we do the wheel. <laughs> Ted Alice was definitely made with lines of computer code. There's already two votes for Yes, Your Grace. I really genuinely expected you all to vote Ted Alice. <laughs> Not because you thought it was a good game, but <laughs> Tidalis Game of the Year edition. I'm going to Google it. I'm going to see if there's any DLC for it or anything. Tidalis. Tidalis on Steam. Let's, let's see what people think about it. Um... Oh, my God. Oh my god, this Okay, hold on. So yes your grace uh yes your grace wins. Game of the stream. Excellent. Fantastic. Um I'm uh 
That, that's excellent. Well, I'm, I'm glad. I, I think I think that would probably be the game of the stream as well. Um, I'm just going to bring you to the um, to the Steam page for Tidalis. Um, uh, and I want you to have a look at this this review. So this is this is someone who's played thirty hours of Tidalis. Um, it opens with "It is awesome," and this review has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve paragraphs that someone has written about the game Tidalis. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> um, this person is like so fucking into this game Some, this person clearly got just a lot out of this game that I just could not see apparently there's story and characters later on um Childlike graphics. I mean, this this person seems to have done like a really, like they they really seem to be actually genuinely reviewing it. I don't know, right? Um, it's fucking crazy. Is then <laughs> Jesus Christ? I don't think Jonas and I have said this many words reviewing anything, any one thing on the podcast. That is so, that's so intense. Well, anyway, someone really, really likes the game. Um, but yeah, it's not for us, I would say. Um, it's getting, uh, someone's put their, um, their like system specs in here. So you can tell like how, I guess, I don't, I, sure. <laughs> it didn't strike me as a particularly intensive game. This is a first impressions review, not a full review. Maybe, maybe I just, maybe I didn't give it enough time. Maybe I just, maybe I really need to get in deep in the paint with Tidalis, like do a hundred hours of Tidalis and just see how it goes. Oh yeah, look, there's like characters. There's like a story. Oh shit. I was missing out. Yeah, next month's next month's podcast reviews tied Alice. That's for damn sure. All right. Well, anyway, thank you for watching, everybody. Um, this was good fun and weird. Um, let's go find someone to raid, shall we? And then we'll send you on your merry way. And you can all be going off playing some tied Alice this evening and um and enjoying yourself. Let's raid. No one. No one I know is really streaming. Let's see. Is anyone else streaming Per Astra? No, of course not. Is anyone else streaming Tidalis? Let's see. Is anyone streaming? Nope, no one's streaming Tidalis. Um, is anyone streaming? Um, yes, Your Grace. Let's have a look. Okay. Nope, no one's streaming Yes, Your Grace. Uh, Emily the Odds doing Outer Wilds. Why are they not on my, um, currently online list then? Um, yeah, we'll be returning back to Civ tomorrow. Um, so yeah, tomorrow is going to be, um, Civ again and, and, um, Thursday is going to be more, um, More, more Sims Medieval. Emily the Odd isn't streaming. Emily the Odd is offline. Uh, Alexis wants to know when my egg lunch tweets are coming back. There was an egg lunch tweet the other day. Gotta look out for them. They're there. They're always there. Deep in the background. Um, okay, let's let's raid Radical Links then. Um, All right, yeah, so come back tomorrow. We'll be playing more Civ. We'll be carrying on the campaign we were playing before, so come join us for that. And then Thursday is more Sims Medieval, so come join us for that. Um, and otherwise, have a lovely evening, everybody. Goodbye!